Hi, everybody, and welcome back to this edition of Inside Sports. Tonight, we are talking Maryland Terrapins women's and men's basketball. Both teams are in the top 25 at this moment during the season, and I'm pleased to be joined by a special guest, and that's Katie Rutan, former Terrapin guard who was at the team for 2011 and 2014 and a member of the Final Four team. Katie, thanks for joining me here today. Thanks for having me. Now we're going to start with the women's side, but first, a little bit about you. What was it like last season uh, making that run to the Final Four and, and, and being a senior on that team? Uh, it was really fun. Um, there was a lot of ups and downs during the season, and what mattered was it, it paid off in the end, and I wouldn't want to do it with any other team than that team we had that year. Yeah, you guys had a lot of uh, a good leadership on the team last year, and like you said, a lot of ups and downs, a couple mm -hmm. that loss in Notre Dame during the year, and then you make the run to the Final Four. And uh, just talk about some of the camaraderie with some of those players on your team. I mean, you you come in. I came in late, so I didn't get the all four years with uh, my senior class, but. I mean, just playing off Alyssa Thomas every game, I, I mean, she's a force in herself and she's someone you always want to be able to match every game. And um, just playing with like Alicia as well, my other senior, I mean, she's great too. And she's so tough on defense and it makes you want to work harder. And then even for our freshmen like Lexi and Bree, like getting to play with them in the starting five, I mean, they brought so much to the table and they hadn't even been there a whole year yet, which is awesome. Now uh, you graduated. You go out with a Final Four appearance, which is amazing. Yeah. Uh, what are you up to now? What are you doing these days? Um, I'm an, a tax associate now, so I'm kind of a nerd. But um, it's fun. It's it's new. It's I don't work out for four hours a day, so it's kind of different. It's an adjustment, but it's going well so far. So going from the court to the uh, the tax office, I guess, right? Yeah. The transition's been okay, though? It's been okay. Um, it's really weird not having that practice block in the middle of the day and just all that, all that, but um, it's still an adjustment period. I just started a month ago, so it's still fresh. Well, that's good. I'm glad you're, uh, you're successful and doing well. Let's get back onto the court now. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of players off let leave the uh, team seniors, uh, Maryland, from last year, and they bring a whole new crop in. Mm -hmm. um, what's it like? You, know, you were senior last year. You had a gel with freshmen. Now the other way around. What's that like this year for Coach Freeze and, and the team? She only has one senior this year, and um, I believe four juniors now, so it's a little bit of an adjustment. Um, your most of the majority of your team is really young, so it's it's kind of a different where you had more stability with us, especially like a couple of us who were there for five years. So we, there was a more like older feel, and so now they're they're young and fresh, and I think their style is going to be great. I think they're gonna they're gonna mesh well. Of course, it's going to take some time because. You have to find your identity every year, and I think it will take a couple, a little bit longer, but, I mean, they're going to get it. Uh, Coach B and, and the people she brings in really can make a team gel. It just it will take time sometimes. It will take more time. It will take less time, but in the end, she knows how to put them together. So you were a freshman once. What's it like stepping in to a, um, a program? you know with with you know seniors juniors and, and a lot of older players on the team and uh, having to like contribute right away and, and try to pick up like everything new I mean it's really overwhelming going right into it and not knowing um, really what your role is uh, you work out hard you play pick up with the team you see what people can do you see what their weakness is and you you try to really work on them um, but it, it's really nerve-wracking when you're a freshman. You're always nervous. But the best thing about it was you didn't have any expectations. So my mind when I was a freshman was pretty clear. I mean, you have your rough moments as freshman. You have your – the freshman confidence can dip at times. But, I mean, your, your team's there to really pick you up and get you through it. That was my next question. As a senior, when you have the freshmen coming in, mm -hmm. does it ever get frustrating? Was wow, will this person please stop turning the ball over? I'm wide open. Pass me the ball. Stop taking that bad shot. Like, what's that like? Um, I mean, you think about it in your mind. You get mad and frustrated. But I mean, if you take a step back, which we all do, and we're like, wow. I mean, we we can't say anything. We are all them, and you can only talk them up. Um, you can't be negative with any freshman or even anyone on your team. It's it's not good for camaraderie, but you pick them up. You let them know it's okay. It happens, and they they'll fix it. Um, you can tell they they'll quickly come to learn like you're gonna fix it, and you're gonna have us to support you. Now you have the team this year. Got off to a good start, and they're mm -hmm. six and one now, but they do have that loss. Is that a lot of uh, uh, adjustment period? A lot of feeling out now with the new players and the and the returning players trying to feel each other out and get a feel for things. Uh, 
I would say so. I mean, people are allowed to have bad games. It's hard when uh, multiple people have bad games, um, but it, it's okay. They're going to be fine. Every year I can say that I've been there, we had a loss that really kicked it into gear for us, whether it be in the beginning of the year, or whether it be uh, middle or more towards the end of the year. We've always had that that one loss that really stuck with us that just changed our whole mentality. So I think I think it'd just be one for them. It's it's early, it's okay to to feel it out. It just looks so promising right out of the gate. They hammered Wagner, they hammered Mount mm -hmm. St. Mary's. Two ranked teams in James Madison and South Florida and they win both of those games rather convincingly so it looked like oh, everything was going to be good and they hit the hiccup with the loss to Washington State and Puerto Rico. Yeah, I mean they're a great team. They're going to be a great team no doubt. Um, I always pull for them and I'll always pull for them no matter what but uh, the beginning of the season is a learning period and um, it's not just Maryland who's lost. Um, a lot of people have lost on the top 25 to either ranked or unranked teams so it's not something new to the game and so I mean, it's in the past now, so there's no really looking back at the game except for learning uh, abilities. And you have, uh, you know, in the future now before we get the conference, a lot of games against lesser opponents. Is that a time really now to iron everything out before conference play starts? I mean, I wouldn't call them lesser opponents. Um, they're not going to be a highly named team such as the people, some people in the top 25, but I wouldn't diminish their abilities just because they're not well known or they're not ranked. Um, every team's going in, um, in my aspect, and what Coach B has always taught us, even Keel, like no one's better than the other and that you have to play and earn that respect. So um, every game's going to be a good game for them, and it's really going to help them grow in, um, in multiple aspects. Different games will bring out different things that need to work on. Talk about Coach uh, Freeze's coaching style on the court and off the court. Okay. Uh, on the court, I mean, she's very uh, – vocal but she lets you find your own um, but she will help you get to your own if you're not playing well I know for me some games I haven't been playing well she'd take me out and she'll she'll talk to you right away she won't let anyone get to you first like she wants to be that one to have that communication with you it could be a, by yourself it can be multiple people are having the same issue and she'll really gather and even in practice she has the same thing and she'll challenge us and she does what any like great coach does, and it really brings out the best in her teams. Maryland moved from the ACC to the Big Ten. Obviously, you played in the ACC, mm -hmm. and you played some teams in the Big Ten Conference. Is there going to be a different style of play? I mean, what's it going to be like in making that change for the players there now? Well, I know the ACC is, um, has generally been a more fast-tempoed game, a lot of up and downs, up and downs, where the Big Ten's more focused on half court and slowing down the game and but no matter what, is Maryland plays the same way we've always played. We're not going to change how we are for someone else. And so we're going to keep that high intensity. We're going to get the ball out fast. We're going to run for the, all 40 minutes no matter what. And no matter what conference, we're in, no matter what team we're in, Coach B, is, she's drilled that. That's the Maryland basketball way. Can you talk about some of the players who are returning to the team this year that you got to play with last year and, you know, how you've seen them grow from this, uh, from last season to this season and how they're progressing? Like Lexi Brown. Like, she's, she okay. looks like she's really having an outstanding uh, sophomore year so far, getting to play all the minutes she got to play last year. Yeah, I think last year and playing really uh, got her ready for this year and just the transition. So she was a leader for us by the end of the year um, from the point guard standpoint and she's definitely been able to gain that confidence and how she finished the year on such a high and to bring that over this year she's going to be one of the biggest assets that Maryland will have just because of her knowledge of the game before Maryland in this her first year and she I I know all good things are going to happen for Lexi that's that's one of my point guards so so you think that the team is going to be more guard oriented this year or are they going to have an inside presence also when they get to the Big Ten of course they're going to have an inside presence. Uh, Bree and Melina inside, and even Tierney, they're, they're going to be a presence themselves. Bree made that very clear last year with her freshman season. And um, no matter what, we're, they, we do have a lot of guards. We do have a lot of even forwards who can play guards. So it's going to be a fast-paced game. It just depends on what the matchup is and how we can really expose the other team. 
What do you expect out of Maryland um, going forward uh, when they get to conference play for for the uh, for the foreseeable future? I know we're early in the season now, but uh, once they get to conference play, what are you expecting? I expect big things from them. Um, they're they're Maryland. They know how to win. They know how to. Our coaching staff does a great job uh, preparing the girls, and our team really does wonders just taking that in and just being able to execute. So I think it'll be good. Every game's going to be different. Um, there's going to be different matchups, different keys to win, different ways to expose. So it's just a wait and see of what's going to happen each game. Okay, we'll stay right there. We're going to take a short break. And when we come back, we're going to continue turf talk and basketball. Stay tuned. We'll be right back after this.